Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. I don't love just anyone. I am not just anyone. I rock heels, I rock Jordans. And I wear wigs and rock my natural. Can you believe it says I'm pretty but with dark skin? Hey bestie boos. So y'all know I usually don't come on here like starting off the vlogs with full face of makeup. And honestly, it's not a full face of makeup. It looks like it, but it's not. Let me show y'all what I used. So disregard my background and the lighting. I'm in front of my vanity. But T put me onto these L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizers. And I'm in the color three. I got three and four, but four was too dark for me. Three is my perfect shade. So I just like put that all over it. It literally just feels like moisturizer, but it's tinted. Then did a little concealer, powder. Um, I haven't been doing my brows lately. Like, I want to say I haven't like filled because like my brows, I have pretty like decent brows. <laughs> So, like, I never have to fill them in. I just brush them up and then conceal the bottom. I don't even conceal the top of my brows. Um, I like a nice natural brown. I ran out of my lip liner, so I just put a little bit of my favorite um, Maybelline and then just regular clear gloss by Tree Hut. And then, what else did I do? Just highlight. Y'all know my highlight. My favorite highlighter from, where is she from? My favorite highlighter from Airspun. And then I contoured with contoured like i warmed up my face like around the edges with what is this called i gotta find it so y'all i haven't done oh gosh this sound real chaotic oh this next three steps to sculpt i use this brown right here but i haven't done my face in so long i didn't even do my face on my birthday like i've just been lash extension mommy but <laughs> I just wore some lashes and y'all I struggled like I don't know if y'all can tell but like I have on lashes right now I have on these I Envy feathered style top quality so wispy lashes with the um clear band because I pulled all my lashes out all my lash extensions out which in turn pulled all my lashes out now I still do have lashes but they're not as long as they usually are so like before I could put on mascara and my lashes would look like this like nice and natural and y'all know when i get my lash sisters done they're very nice and natural but i just i wasn't feeling them i had to pull them out i just pluck 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 and now your girl is bullheaded in the lashes but it's fine it's fine but um happy sunday y'all <laughs> um we are i don't know i spent all day like currently it is 5 30 i spent all day in bed editing tiktoks and responding to tiktok comments and real quick real quick real quick i was just telling my boyfriend this i didn't get like hate comments on like any of my content until like i went viral on tiktok and i'm very grateful for going viral on tiktok but a lot of people and i feel like it's probably not their fault it's probably like the school system the way they were raised their family whatever um like as kids we are raised that we are entitled to our opinion which honestly wait let me move i don't like this lighting <laughs> like i'm like let me move hmm. we about to go we about to go on the couch so we can have this talk because i really gotta sit down and talk to y'all so like i feel like as kids everybody was taught that their opinion was important and to be honest in this world that we live in your opinion is only important if it's warranted if someone asks for your opinion or if it's like detrimental to your life your opinion to other people does not matter at all so like when i be going through my comments and i see people like purposely being mean or purposely being shady that shit is funny to me like because little do you know i'm making money off of your comment i'm making money off of your dislike or your like or whatever your your view i'm making money off of that and you're sitting at home on your couch bored out of your mind and you want to ruin my day for free like you know and it doesn't even ruin my day like that shit is so comical to me like one girl what was the comment like i don't even remember the comment that's how that's so like how irrelevant it was what was the comment oh it was about um on the video that went viral it was about like i said something about oh and when you make sure you wash your hands when you get in the house if you don't do that that's nasty so one girl was like but you came home touch set up touched and set up your camera with dirty hands um took the trash out 
came back, set your camera up again with dirty hands, and then wash your hands. Like, no. You don't know what I do behind the scenes. Y'all dead don't know what I do behind the scenes. Even on YouTube, like, I show y'all what I want to show y'all. And I show y'all a little bit more on YouTube because I have a little bit more time to show y'all stuff on YouTube. And TikTok only have 30 to 60 seconds to, like, tell a story and that's literally what consecrating is is telling a story so like i'm not gonna show you the fact that i'm a germaphobe and i got home took off all my stuff washed my hands then took the trash out then came back and washed my hands again like you know i'm not gonna show you step by step by step because i don't have time to just people just be so ignorant and then it was one girl like it was a clip like i took my shower and like I showed like me, I showed me throwing the pants on the ground, me throwing the shirt on the ground. And the girl was like, you ain't have no panties on, sis. Like, why would I show you my dirty panties? Like, <laughs> y'all y'all are so comical to me. Like the people who like give their shady and unwarranted opinions are so fucking comical. Cause y'all really, like I said, sit and be nasty and rude and mean for no reason. Like, why would I show you my dirty panties? And people like that, like people fail to realize that this content creating like yes it is my life like I am opening the door a smidget for y'all to see my life and to see like who Jada Simone is but also it's kind of like it's a hobby for me and to, to some people it is a job like you know I make money just like other creators make money off of this so of course like with any other job you separate your job from your everyday life like this is not my entire life i know how to separate things and people like that they don't know how to separate things they be the same people arguing on instagram with their baby daddies so that's why like i give these people grace but i just wanted to say like <laughs> it's so funny to me how like i didn't start getting hate comments until tiktok but these same people like probably don't have a life so you're watching my life you're making me money so like yeah just keep watching <laughs> And honestly, I mean that in the humblest way possible. Like, not that... I'm not shading anybody. Um, if anything, I'm the one getting shaded in these comments. But, like, if you're a creator, then if you know, then you know. You know? I'm not trying to be problematic. I'm just saying that, like, sometimes your opinion do not matter. Like, it really does not matter. There's a lot of videos that I disagree with that I keep scrolling. Like, I very rarely comment unless, like, it's something positive. And I'm like, oh, congratulations, girl. Or, oh, yeah, you definitely deserve that. Or, oh, your hair looks really nice. Like, I rarely comment. But the people who feel the need to comment nasty stuff. In all actuality, and this is to my other fellow creators that watch me. Hey, girl, hey. In all actuality, these people have no life. They're, they have no life and they're watching your life and they're miserable and they want you to be miserable with them but we're not getting miserable and stooping down to their level like it's just not giving so we're gonna keep thriving and keep posting and keep being the girls that we are so yeah besties that's my rant that's all i had to say <laughs> hey besties happy wednesday your girl did not go to work today but i don't even know i don't even know how to explain why i didn't go to work today basically we had like this really big meeting at work with like the higher ups. I got ready. I got real cute. I go outside to my car because I know I live in like a city, very su not suburban, very urban area. And I'm boxed in. Literally, I'm going to insert the picture. I'm boxed in. I cannot get out of my parking spot. So I let my team know. My boss was like, oh, don't worry about the meeting. Just stay home, work from home. But I called the cops. <laughs> Like, my mom gave me, like, the non-emergency cop number to call. And then they put me on the line with parking enforcement. And basically, parking enforcement was, like, there was nothing that they could do unless the person was parked illegally. Like, even if their car was parked on top of my car, like, literally sitting on top of my car, there was nothing that they could do. But um, they were, like, my building has a parking garage. And besties, don't. Don't ask me why I don't have a parking spot in that parking garage. It's because it's $135 a month. Who's paying that? That's, that's nail money. <laughs> like that's money i could be using for other stuff but um they were kind of like like they forced themselves into that spot i want to say like they were maybe like two feet sticking out into the driveway of the parking garage so like i did mention that and they came and gave them a ticket i don't care i was a camera today because why like they are literally on my bumper y'all so we're gonna go out it's currently 4 41 um i'm gonna see if i'm still boxed in i really hope and pray that i'm not so like i like even like, it was like 12 o'clock they were still on my bumper like why would you if you were gonna park that close because you needed a spot in like the middle of the night and you had to park somewhere 
at least get up early in the morning and move your car but anyway me and my mom are heading out to the city there is a macage sample sale um i've been dying for a macage for the longest so we are going to check out what they have hopefully they have really nice stuff the sample sale started yesterday so i wish i would have sold it yesterday but honestly i didn't get home from work until like 7 p.m and that's not because well it's because it was a two hour drive because of all the traffic so that's why i got home so late and i was pooped but today didn't uh go into the office it was a very 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 chill day so now we are going into the city to see what we can get um and i'm excited so i'm gonna show y'all what i got on we're not gonna go over to the mirror because i feel like that is a wasted attempt y'all know it's so dark in that corner i gotta get like a over the mirror light or something but I have on this Essentials crew neck that Tanasia bought me for my birthday. Super cute, super simple. I have on some black leggings from Target. I really like them. It's like their ribbed collection. I like them. I like the gray ones better, but it's fine. We could deal with the black. I feel like the black, it, it goes with the fit, kind of. I don't know. I have on my everyday Louis Vuitton Alma um bag and i have on my celine shades because the sun is setting and y'all know when the sun sets and you drive it and it get in your eyes so yeah that's why i got on shades because it's about to be dark outside i'm gonna put on my chestnut uggs and that's it let's see what is the fragrance of the day show y'all what i'm smelling like today I'm, i haven't even sprayed it yet but i'm going to spray the ruby orchid by victor and rolf today and yeah so that is what we're looking and smelling like all right besties so now we're about to head out i gotta go be at my mom hopefully she's ready hopefully i don't gotta wait on her and we are going to head into the city and hopefully we can stop by a starbucks or something and see if they have the new starbucks holiday cups because i want one really really bad and i feel like i can't not get one you know you know i don't know all right bye besties Girl, I get the money with him, make you mine, no If you love him, every night, he make you mine, no Now only you give me love when we need nice, so Nice, so, nice, so I feel make you mine, no Girl, I love you, plus I never make you mine, no If I let you smoke, it's you gon' lose my light, no If you're paranoid, then I'ma spend the night, no Girl, I love you, baby, baby I'ma dance with you, my money, I go pay hey besties happy monday um as y'all saw i made myself a acai bowl it was like a little diy acai bowl because the blender that i have is like the little ninja blender and it comes with this like attachment to make acai bowls and stuff so i was like why not make them myself instead of spending ten dollars on a bowl every day so it was really really good um i did make myself some hamburger up for dinner um lunch slash dinner so I'm, i was eating that now just got out of a call but i got a text saying that my friend's mom is on her way to come get the couch so yes i finally found somebody to get this couch and if y'all see me speaking with a lisp it's because these braces like sometimes i'm okay sometimes i have the lisp it 
every time is annoying so yeah she's coming to get the couch <laughs> she's coming to get the couch y'all oh, so i can put up my new couch and finally get my office area together and finally get like this wall together because right now the couch is in these boxes and then it's like some stuff from my housewarming party on top of the boxes that my mom has to come get and then i can finally get my desk area situated i found some really cute wallpaper for like this wall right here so i'm excited i'll probably like put that up in the coming weeks so yeah um we are taking away taking apart the couch so that she can come get the couch because i'm sick of looking at the couch even though i'm putting up the exact same couch you know what it that's my business. Anyway, let's work on getting this couch taken apart. All right, y'all, so my living room is clearly looking a mess, but as y'all can see, the couch is no longer here. It is here in a million pieces. So hopefully it'll be easy for her to put inside of her truck. And yeah, she could take all three pieces at the same time. I'm gonna try to condense, cause like the pillows came inside of the of the actual couch. So I'm gonna try to condense it for her. But um, yeah, y'all, this is what it's looking like. I'm going to be putting up the new couch tonight and then we are going to finish decorating for fall. All right, y'all, so she came and got the couch. I'm exhausted. The couch isn't that big and y'all saw, like it was able to divide into three pieces, but getting the three pieces downstairs on the elevator and into the car was a battle, but we fit them into her truck, thank the Lord. And I could put up the new uh, couch, which is just still the same couch. Um. I low-key am falling out of love like I was never in love with the couch but I knew it was something like neutral for my space y'all know like my accents are gold and like my main colors are beige and black so like it went with the aesthetic but I think like next year we're getting a new couch I'm still supposed to be working so I'm gonna do some work finish my lunch and figure my life out <laughs> And then I'm going to clean the living room like under the couch. It was so dusty and like I do try to move it, but I have these hardwood floors. And if you have hardwood floors, then you know, or like plank flooring, I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. But if you have these types of floors, you know that you're constantly sweeping. That's why shoes are not allowed in my house. But I, yeah, I'm going to clean the whole floor, like sweep and mop the entire floor, like my bedroom everywhere, every, every inch of floor in here. I'm going to clean that today and then put up the new couch and then put up the full decor for friendsgiving which is on saturday so i'm so excited but yeah i need a nap for real but i gotta work because i gotta make money so i can pay these bills so i'm gonna catch y'all when i catch y'all
Shout it rock to the beat for your boy. Shout it, yeah, do yeah. yeah. Rock to the beat for your boy. Radio killer, yeah, killer, killer. Hey bestie boots. So today is Saturday. It's the big day. It's Friendsgiving. Ah! So yeah, I just got back from Walmart. Um, y'all know the cart is back there. I gotta unload, disinfect all the groceries. Then I'm gonna start cooking. I'm just making the rice. I ordered chicken for my bastards. If you know, you know. I gotta make the salad and chocolate covered strawberries. So we are going to do that. The girl should be here by six. It's currently 2:30. So I gotta let's go. Cause um, I still gotta kind of set up. I just gotta like set up the little foldable table put the tablecloth on it set up the place in the napkins and then like set up my food that i currently have and then put away my dishes that i washed last night i gotta take my shower i gotta get ready get cute y'all know y'all see it. i'm looking really very much mess and it's okay because later on i'm gonna look very much cute so yeah my camera is dying that's why i'm talking fast i will be checking in on y'all in like an hour or two i don't know bye besties Okay. 